When I was there, um, our first meeting is usually at about 7 o'clock, um, which means in order to get, you need to get to the office about 6, 6.30, so you have time to read and see what happened overnight before you go into your first meeting. And my meetings were in 15-minute increments from basically 7 o'clock in the morning until usually about 10 o'clock at night. Uh, and then Saturdays might be a planning session. Um, and I'd say, and then we also traveled with the president when he would travel domestically or internationally, there'd be a group of us who would travel with him. Um, so quite intense. What's, what's different about it, I think, than other sectors is every day you might be dealing with the range of issues. So your morning might start on something like Afghanistan and the military footprint, and by the next meeting might be on the internet regulation and net neutrality, and by lunchtime you might be dealing with Cuba um, or public lunch, school lunches. So the range of things you work on every day is just incredibly broad. Um, and so it's quite intense and you have to hop from issue to issue and keep keep abreast of everything going on in all of them. It's actually quite hard to, hard to do. I guess I kind of knew this because I knew him before he was president too, is that he's very funny. Um, and he's got a great sense of humor and he loves to tease people. Um, and I don't think that comes through because when he's on camera, he's very calm and cool and collected and smooth. Um, but he, uh, he, loves to tell, he loves to tell jokes and, and tease people. Well, it's a challenge, that's for sure. <laughs> um, having a career and having family and balancing the two, I don't think there's any perfect formula that makes it, makes it easy or makes it perfect all the time. What I do think is really important for working women in particular is to um, not feel too guilty about whatever choice it is that you're making and really embrace the decisions that you've made and be true to yourself. So if you feel unhappy, that you're not, you're not comfortable with how intense your work life is or you want to spend more time with your kids, listen to that inner self and make adjustments in your career along the way. So my greatest achievement is really actually uh, pretty straightforward, which is um, I was working in uh, Sarajevo in the Balkans after the war on implementation of the Dayton Peace Agreement. And um, one of the things we needed to do was negotiate the release of prisoners of war. Um, and I'll never forget one night, literally on a bridge, and it was dark and lots of, it was a dark, cold night. Um, we able, were able to release um, people, hundreds of people, to their families. And I've never felt um, a greater sense of accomplishment that I've actually done something that was meaningful for people than to watch people be able to reunite with their families. I'd say I have them all the time. I always felt like when we were in the, um, particularly in the Obama administration, at the height of the financial crisis, like should there be something more that we're doing, right? Why can't we figure out what the right solution is and make it better for people faster, um, respond to the things going on in the world in a more effective way? So I'd say, if anything, I've been consumed with the lack of accomplishment, really, than some of the other things that have gone well in my career.